Hello my friend and welcome back to the channel. This game, rather than cast for you as I usually do, I'd like to show you a set between Royal and Snow because I thought this was really interesting. The game itself is nothing to write home about, but the strategies employed here were quite something else. You'll see exactly what I mean when we get into this one. We've got Snow here in the bottom right, Royal in the top left, Royal hiding on a barcode account with Last in the front. I don't think Snow is aware of that. Snow probably playing on stream on his main account here, and he's going to get very, very far behind, and he's going to try something that I've never seen before. And I mean, a strategy that may never see the light of day again in order to find a way back into this game and it's rare in a 25 year old game that you see something that is completely new um forgive me if this is something that you may have seen before but this is something completely new to me so i'm sure for most of you it's going to be a surprise it's going to be something new so we've got last aka royal starting out with a gasless fast expand and he gets this cc after gas so he's gonna have the tank out very quickly and he only built two marines he's being super greedy is what i'm trying to say and because snow scouts him last i believe he did like an end scout he scouted here then he scouted here and he scouted up to here he never built a zealot he's only now building a dragoon and this CC is about the same time as the Nexus. It's, it's a really good spot right now for Royal. And <clears throat> Snow feeling like he needed to get something back. He's going to proxy a Robo here. But unfortunately, that's not going to do well. And Snow gets into a bit of a desperation mode after this point. Because look at this. The... SCV makes it in its way into the main base. He wasn't quite able to block it there on the ramp. So he sees missing a pylon here. No pylon. No third pylon. So he knows that there's some sort of proxy. Uh, immediately goes into engineering bay. Royal. Perfect. Of course. Uh, reading Snow like a book here with that scout. Uh, he saw everything that he needed to see. So... He knows it's something. Might be a DT rush. Might be something else. Might be a proxy robo. He gets the turret in the natural, just in case. Perfectly placed turret if it was a DT. No way you're going to get past this bunker uh, with the tank here. Uh, with a DT. It's just not going to happen. You can't dive on that turret either with dragoons or anything. And the proxy raver. It's going to be spotted. The turrets are going to be up in time. He was hoping, you know, with the proxy to get in before turrets are done so you can get a huge amount of damage. But the proxy's not going to work out. And so Snow gets into a very, very desperate situation here. He's already behind in terms of economy. You can see that Royal is even on the worker count right now. He tries to dive into the front. But look at that. Perfect. Just pulling the... Uh, marines away here not even losing the marines to the reaver bus at the front and he doesn't even need the bunker anymore he's got three tanks here at the natural and three tanks in the main that can easily be brought down to defend from here so it's a scary situation now look at what snow pulls out here in order to try to bring this one back Let's just go ahead and take a look at Royal's perspective for a moment. He's going to go ahead and scan here. He sees the double Stargate. So, <clears throat> okay, I already revealed it, guys. Um, This is not a regular double Stargate. As you can see, a Corsair is on the way here. So what is he doing with the Corsair? Well, he's not actually doing anything with the Corsair. The only thing he's doing with that is trying to trick Royal. He's just building the Corsair and then canceling and then rebuilding the Corsair and then canceling. The reason he's doing Corsair 
is because it's the cheapest unit and you don't need any other buildings to make it. So he doesn't even have a um, fleet beacon. What he's hoping to do is to trick Royal into basically building way too many Goliaths and then Snow can just run him over with Zealots. You can see that he's mining only minerals here. He's mining one gas there, one gas there. But Royal already started his command center before those scans came down. So Royal's plan here is to push forward, take this base, and then transition into, you know, uh, a big push afterwards. Because you can't, if, if they're building carriers, you can't try and take a fourth here. You don't want to allow the, the Protoss player to mass up on carrier and get a bunch of bases for free. You need to do some sort of push. So he's pushing forward here. He does a really nice job. Uh, only that one Reaver shot, I think. The only one that Snow is able to get off onto the tanks. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. Um, we're going to have another scan here in a moment. We're going to go ahead and confirm. Royal is going to confirm that, okay, we are still making carriers, right? And these are indeed blinking, as you can see. Snow pulling off a sick uh, kind of cheese here, or what would you say? Like a fake out. A really, really sick fake out. You don't see any carriers sitting around here but they could be sitting over here you know they could be sitting over here they could be anywhere on the map right now you're just not sure and when you see these two blinking the entire time the entire time snow has been <laughs> building corsairs and canceling from when that first scan came down until now just constantly building and rebuilding those uh corsairs over and over and over again now after this snow does something a little bit silly he decides that he's just gonna go for it now he makes a big round of zealots and he just hammers in there as you can see the uh, overall supply really not that different but look at what happened here look at what royal's building right now goliath 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 tank Goliath tank. He's only building Goliaths and tanks. So this strategy actually worked and we'll see it in just a second. He taps out. He loses everything. He taps out. Okay. We'll go back to the end. So what Snow did here, although it was quite crazy, it did uh, work as intended. It did actually work. You see he's just doing it constantly. Canceling, building, canceling. Finally, he cancels after the scans come down. But he's got a pretty good bank right now. And you can see he's only 20 supply ahead when he dives in here. I think had Snow waited, uh, add on, added on some more gateways, maybe, you know, six more gates here, four more gates. Get this base saturated. And... Uh, wait for Royal. Royal was about to push. Royal was thinking that this is a carrier uh, player. This is snow going carriers. I need to get across the map and shut him down. I'm going to build only Goliaths here. Get my anti-air and try to push across the map. And snow could have very well overwhelmed him with zealots and dragoons and destroyed this army and maybe taken this game. It's just so interesting to imagine the possibilities here. This is something very high execution. You know, building Corsairs and then canceling them and then building them again, just in hopes that the Terran player is going to scan to see that. Um, it's a bit crazy, but it did work as intended. It's just that, unfortunately, Snow pulled the trigger way too soon. I think that he might have thought uh, that Royal didn't fall for the trick right he just decided to throw his whole army in here um not realizing that it's all goliath production after this there wasn't going to be a fourth base this was going to be a big attack 
and snow just kind of jumped the gun here so again this may be something that we never see again or this might be something that you know someone pulls out in a future tournament um and people make it look really really good if they refine the play if they you know get it down to a science um how to hit that gateway army something i could see someone like best doing this honestly i could see someone like best pulling something like this off um faking carrier and then going into uh just huge gateway army and annihilating the terran uh, as they push across the map with uh, way too many goliaths you know if you have like seven eight ten goliaths and you start to push across the map and you just get hit by a gateway army you're not going to have the vulture numbers to destroy all of the zealots even if this army was unseaged like let's just say he unseages and then the uh gateway army comes in um this fight would have gone way way better uh to, to say nothing of if the uh, tanks were actually pushing across the map, right? If he had unseeched everything and started heading out this way, and let's say he's going across this way, and the gateway army comes from all sides here, this is going to be a crazy better fight. Way, way better fight for Snow. So, an interesting concept here, guys. This is your Daily Dose of Brood War. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, and you like these kind of different, uh, you know, not exactly cast type videos, more like me explaining things and just talking. Make sure to like the video, guys. Um, I like to mess around with a few different uh, ideas here and there uh, for the channel. Don't want to make it too stale. Try to mix it up. And so um, just let me know if you guys enjoy this type of content. That's going to be it for your Daily Dose of Brood War. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.